Hi everyone. My friend from Uganda bought me a gorgeous, giant, very delicious avocado. And I've heard that you can make ink or paint from the avocado pit. So here's a video where I'm trying for the first time to make some paint. So watch along and maybe you would have a go as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna peel off this sort of layer of skin that's on the outside of the pit. As you can see, I'm just using a little knife to gently peel that skin off. Once I've done this, I'm then gonna cut my avocado pit into small pieces. From my readings, this when you cut it into quite small pieces, you end up with a much stronger ink. So just gonna cut across and keep cutting until I have a few pieces. So I've cut up my avocado pieces, the pit, and you can see already it was a white colour and it's now changed to this bright orange colour, which is exciting. Now, the equipment you'll need to make your ink will be some water. You could use tap water, but depending on the area you live in, that tap water may be acid or alkaline and may affect the colour of your ink. So you could also use distilled water or bottled water. I've got bottled water here. You need a spoon to stir your avocado pit while it's cooking, some sodium bicarbonate, Something to filter your ink, it could be a coffee filter or it could be a sort of muslin cloth. You can see this one's already been dyed because I've used it to make turmeric ink. And of course you need a stainless steel pot to cook your avocado seeds or gently boil them. And that will be the bit I'll show you next. So I'm putting the avocado seeds now into the pot. I'm pouring a bit of water. I don't want too much. I don't have to cover all the pits. I want some water at the bottom, but it's okay if some of the pits are sticking out the top. That's fine. Because the less water we put in, the more concentrated the ink will be. If we have too much water, the ink will be very mild and not as nice. I'm then going to put just a little bit of bicarbonate of soda. So I'm going to just use my eye and think, okay, a little bit less than a teaspoon, maybe even about half a teaspoon. I'm going to pop that in, give it a stir. And the next step now is to gently bring this to the boil and then cook it on the hob. So here I am bringing the avocado pits to the boil. And I'm now going to turn the heat down. And allow it to simmer. You can see the water's already slightly changed colour. But what we should be seeing soon is a much more dramatic change. While we're waiting for the avocado pit to finish simmering, I thought I'd show you a few ways that you could preserve ink, from the cheapest to a bit more expensive. So, cloves. If you drop a few cloves into a bottle of ink that you've made from plant-based materials, uh, that can preserve it. Salt is what I use to preserve berry ink, like strawberry ink or raspberry ink, blackberry ink, blueberry ink. A few drops of alcohol can be put in the ink and that can also act as a preservative. And then you have gum arabic, so this is a little bit more expensive. Uh, it's the sap of a tree and it's ground up, so it's best to add it to the ink when it's warm. So, for example, if you've heated the ink up. Gum Arabic does a lot of things to the ink. It stops it flaking off the paper once you've painted with it. It thickens it a bit. It preserves it a little bit. It can make it a little bit more shiny as well. 
So these are the ways I preserve ink and I today will probably use a few cloves and maybe a little bit of salt together. Right, so there's quite a dramatic change now. It's been simmering for about approximately five minutes and there's a big change to the color of the water. You can see there it's sort of come out, it's come out kind of pinkish now. So I'm going to leave it a bit longer and wait for it to go a bit deeper and also I want some of that water to evaporate so that the paint will be a little bit thicker. So these avocado pits have been simmering now for about 20 minutes and you can see they're a vibrant red colour and the water has reduced and the next job is to strain it using either the coffee filter or the muslin cloth or even a normal kitchen strainer might do if it was fine enough. I've decided to go for just a kitchen strainer today. I happen to have a funnel which makes it very easy to strain. I've put salt at the bottom of my jar and now I need to just pour my ink through the strainer and into the jar. We've got ink, time to test it out. Here are some of the test sheets for the different plant-based inks that I've made recently. And so now I'm going to add to all of these my avocado ink and we'll have a look and see how that looks. So here's our ink. I've got a large mop brush and I'm going to try it out. Let's see. Okay. It's quite pale sort of pale brown. Some of these inks that I've been trying, when you first put them on the paper, they're one colour and half an hour later once they've dried, they turn into a different colour. Here we have some of the avocado tests mixed with other inks that I've created from before. And some of them mixed with charcoal, a charcoal spiral. And here's a really quick sketch using the avocado ink and charcoal again. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what the avocado ink looks like. Here's one layer of avocado ink. This is two layers here, so it's a bit darker. And then we've got other inks made from berries, beetroot, turmeric mixed in. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do hit the thumbs up button or subscribe to my channel Nasha's Art.